Hello all, The Practitioner here. This is a continuation video on to my one uh, entitled Homo sapiens autisticus. Um, I'd like to po propose a possible new classification of humanity, and I'd like to make the distinction that not every one of these particular classifications that I make from here on in is stagnant. Um, it is possible for people to be, um, again, there are multiple factors which uh, go into this, not just purely what your brain is designed for. But my initial four classifications are as follows. Neurotypical, a neuroty uh, atypical neurotypical, brilliant, and genius. The genius types are the ones like uh, Albert Einstein, um, Isaac Asimov, Robert Heinlein, those few geniuses amongst the, uh, or if you will, the few who, um, who use their mental capabilities to the absolute fullest. Then you get the people like me. Um, uh, uh, sorry, um, I would call them neuro, neuro difference, if you will, uh, or brilliance. Um, these would include large chunks of the, uh, uh, again, the Asperger's and aut uh, Autistic Syndrome population due to our hyperlogic focus. Um, the schizophrenics, um, large chunks of them are there, but of course, uh, now, I want to bear this in mind. Um, the, uh, then, of course, you have the atypical neurotypicals, um, who are the highly critically thinking, i.e. Uh, homo sapiens sapiens who actually use their brains to the fullest, uh, James Randi uh, was a prominent example. He's mildly set in his ways, but otherwise. Michael Shermer is another. Um, Ray Hyman is another example. Um, let me think. Who else would qualify under that particular format? Um, I'm pretty sure you can. I'm pretty sure you can find uh, quite a few of the atypical neurotypicals. Um, I would like to make a, a, a complete classification here. Um, Brilliance and geniuses. Uh, geniuses, of course, are, are people whose brains have, uh, who have developed their brains to the absolute fullest or whose brains were uh, rather unique. Albert Einstein was rumored to have Asperger's syndrome, um, but he would be considered the genius because his uh, wiring of Asperger's and his use of it, um, it, was, uh, it was in a class that was uh, much above um, even the likes of, well, most of us Aspies. Um, Brilliance would apply to people whose brains were wired a bit differently, and atypical neurotypicals would apply to the genius quality, if you will, or to the intelligent, highly intelligent or critical thinking use quality of Homo sapiens sapiens. Now, my proposal about this is that with the exception of the, uh, of the classes of Homo sapiens autisticus and the like, whose brains clearly are genetically different, um, you know, and are more predisposed hardwired, it is possible for the atypical neurotypical to become the, um, if you will, the propagation of humanity. And this may be, um, this may be another possibility for humanity to avoid um, becoming dumber over time and uh, from going extinct. Um, I'm going to amend my summary of this particular video, and I'm going to post a little link over here which talks about the World Global IQ Project. Now, mind you, this was done back in 97, and the uh, stats were a tad outdated. But again, based on projections, and based on worldwide senses of IQ tests overall, um, I think you'll find the results fairly interesting. Now, the concern is that if people are... Um, this is the odd bit. Uh, again, some of it is nature versus nurture. But um, if... Now, here's, here's the evolutionary aspect I'd like you to consider on this. If lack of critical thinking, or if lack of logic, or if... Effectively, what we generally call stupidity, um, you know, um, uh, high emotion, um, narrow-mindedness, that sort of thing. If that is promoted, or if, the, if that brain type is promoted, then, uh, in our society, then more likely those people who are becoming like that are more likely to reproduce. Thus, the um, intelligence, those, the atypical neurotypical, if you will, um, you know, the, the, and the reason I say atypical is abnormal typical, again, uh, you know, as opposed to standard typical, would be, again, the abnormal or neurotypical, I think, would be the correct way of saying this. But the abnormals would be dwindled out over, over time. Thus, stupidity would, um, or thus narrow-mindedness would not only become a cultural trait, but whatever the brain uh, type that would predispose people to normally do that would end up becoming more and more so um, developed. Now, maybe that would be a combination of cultural and evolutionary factors, but it would be something to be concerned about. So, my proposition is this. We work 
towards, uh, we work a two-pronged approach. One, we work towards critical thinking uh, to help improve society. And simultaneously, uh, we also, di we also um, portray idiocy, or, or, or per um, we portray idiocy and we portray um, gullibility as traits that are unattractive in both sexes. We try to portray the, uh, the ideas of logic and reason, um, and uh, outside-the-box thinking, I think, is another one that needs to be um, uh, brought into consideration. Because uh, narrow-minded logic can often uh, blindside one to new information. An open-minded logic um, will allow people to process information. Now, I didn't necessarily say accept it. I said process new information. Uh, much like um, Michael Shermer would. Um, or much like, um, I'm trying to think of another example. Much like the early scientists who, uh, much like the early Christians uh, would have who, um, uh, who accepted the idea of evolution a little bit later on and started moving away from fundamental, traditional fundamentalist viewpoints on Christianity to something more moderate, and then eventually to atheism. Uh, or, 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 or what have you. But you, you see, like that would be that would be the idea. We're trying here to avoid critical thinking fallacies, and we're trying to um, we're trying to create a an idea of logic and reason as the basis for human evolution from here on in. Anyway, um, just my thoughts. I will amend the summary after this uh, once this video has been processed. And um, yeah, I hope this helps a little. Um, I may go into greater detail in other videos. Toodles.